Welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Gerald Blaine, Director of Sales for us, and we have Scotty Hollis. First time we've had three people in the Boiling Point, so uh, crowded room here. Uh, Scotty is actually our Boiler University instructor. What we'd like to talk about today is feed water valve. Um, now, we have had um, a feed water that's called the Ware Mod V that we have created, and we actually went to a, a V port valve, okay? So, we want to talk first, Gerald, why did we go to a V-port um, with, the, with the feed water valve? Well, it was for a couple of different reasons. One, we wanted to have a lot better uh, control of the water flow, better characterization. Uh, we're going to demonstrate that, but it also is a classic shutoff. Often you'll have customers that the boiler uh, valve will leak by when they're down mm -hmm. and it, it'll flood the boiler. It creates problems for them trying to get started back up. So we eliminated that problem. And then getting the uh, better characterization of the flow, that allows us to keep the valve from hunting so much. Okay. Uh, and that's really gonna show up here in the lower ranges between you know, 15 and 50%. Once you get all the way open, uh, there's not much difference, but most boilers operate in those lower ranges and modulate. Okay, well we've put together a demo. We thought this would be good to be able to actually see how we can control the, 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 the flow of the water um, so Scotty is actually going to run this demo, um, so why don't we go ahead and go from there. So what you guys have on top, you'll see the V-port, which is labeled, and then you'll have a full port valve on the bottom. The V-port is a 60 degree V in the valve, and it is actually a directional valve. So on the back of the valve, you'll actually see an arrow that will point you the direction it needs to be, that needs to be installed. And we tied them together to one mod motor. So you can see the difference. They're both equal at the same time. So we drive V-port 15%, you're going to see the same amount on the full port, which is where we're at right here at 15%, um, very low flow through the V-port. And what I'm going to do is actually close the V-port and open the full port. And you can't see any changes through the full port at 15%. I'm gonna go ahead and run this up to 20%. What, why is that actually something of significance? Okay, so on the lower end on a full port valve, what's gonna happen is it's gonna close. You have no control over the water versus on the V port, you have this constant water coming into the boiler. So you don't get surges in the water level as the valve opens. There's a constant feed into the boiler. And when you do have those larger slugs, what ends up happening is the valve starts hunting back and forth because it's, it's saying, okay, I'm there, I'm not, I'm there. Uh -huh. Where when you have the more consistent flow, uh, it just feeds it at the same rate that we're exiting the steam. Okay, and as a technician, Scotty, former technician, what's that like out in the field when you're trying to handle feed water like that? When you're trying to handle the feed water as a technician, guys, when you're watching the water level bouncing in the boiler and your feed water valve is reacting to it at the same time, it's very hard to catch. You're not gonna fix it instantly. And that's where the V-port comes in. That fix is taken care of with this V-port. It's controlled. That water level should stay pretty constant with that lower range. All right, so what we got now? So what I'm demonstrating here is I'm gonna take this up to 50%. So half open on the V-port, you're going to see a substantial change, but you're also going to see in here that it's actually still controlled, and then we'll switch to the full port. Full port. So here's the full port, and at 50% range, guys, the, the full port, pretty much from 50 to 75%, it's going to be the same. We're going to get control still with 50% range on the V-port. So if I take it to 75%, you'll see a huge difference in the V-port, and you won't see much of a change through the full port. So here's a full port. We're driving. Not a huge change. In the V-port, you're still controlled. So at 50% to 75%, that's going to be our range of control, and that's where we want the boiler truly, if we can range between 30% and 50% on modulation, that's where we want the boiler to run, not 
Closed and open, closed and open. Now that's a controlled kind of environment. So what type of pressure are you actually running here? Oh, on this one right now, we're running right around 70 PSI on this yep. little pump. And typically in the field. Most situations, you're gonna be running anywhere between 100 to 200 PSI on feed water pumps. Okay. Right. So it really just, I guess just really amplifies once you get out into the field what we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. As we're looking at the Mod V, we wanted to really show some in installation, if you will, on how we actually put this in. So, Gerald, talk a little bit about how we're installing this. Yeah, this, this is a live installation here in our Boiler U. Um, one of the things you do want to be cautious about is making sure that it does get installed properly. Uh, you need to know what direction your water, if it's traveling from right to left, and that's what it is in this case. The V, in this case, is downstream on this side. If you have it in backwards and you're entering on the V side, you will cause a leak on this. Mm. So when you're purchasing the valve, we will ask, we want to know what direction the flow is because we can set the valve up correctly for the V to be downstream. Okay. One of the things I think that's a great feature about this is the Honeywell mod motor, that um, accessible, being able to find. Yeah, that was things. another big thing is if you did have any motor problems, you can pick these up pretty much anywhere. And we also show on the front just exactly how far the V port is open. Yeah, and it'll track real close to your firing rate. We were doing some tests the other day, and when we were at 30% firing rate, you could see it was 30 here, because it, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio, putting this water in and, and the steam out. And this is something that we're really, we obviously are selling, but we're a user of this as well. Yeah, we put these in our rental equipment. We use them on all our projects. They're here in the school as well. Uh, we've had a huge success with them, so we produce quite a few. Thanks, Gerald. Appreciate you hanging out with us, as well as Scotty, to talk a little bit about the Mod V, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, Derby is over here in Louisville, Kentucky. I don't really want to talk about that race, but when Derby's over, that means that shutdowns are happening. So make sure that you can actually put these wear Mod Vs in um, during your shutdown. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, if you like them, share a video for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.